Hi, I'm Nick from The Green Age, and today we're going to be talking about an extremely popular subject, which is about LED lighting. We'll literally get hundreds of questions about this, so I'm going to run through a quick FAQ, so hope you enjoy the rest of the video. First of all, LED lights cost much less to run. So if I've got a 50 watt halogen and a 5 watt LED equivalent, the LED equivalent is literally a tenth of the running cost of the 50 watt halogen. Secondly, LED bulbs are designed to last a lot longer. And finally, um, they're a lot more friendlier to the environment. Other energy efficient bulbs like chlorofluorescents have nasty stuff like mercury that you can't recycle. LED bulbs on the other hand are almost fully recyclable. If you already have a cupboard full of halogen bulbs, the best course of action there is for you to try and go through those bulbs and use them best you can. What's happened is with the regulation changes, a lot of retailers out there have stopped stocking the halogen equivalents, for instance. So, so you can't get them anymore, really. Uh, so if you go to your popular hardware stores or if you're looking for spotlights or you know any, any types of bulbs, its LED has now become the, the standard. So, so what you'll find over a period of time, naturally, most people are gonna to switch to that sort of lighting form uh, versus the more traditional ones, which are slowly being replaced. An LED bulb is price-wise a bit more expensive than you know, what the halogens used to retail for. Now, obviously, there's an upfront cost element. However, by having LED bulbs, because they're gonna last a lot longer, and they're going to be saving you money on your energy bills, they will pay back eventually. So, you know, whether that's nine or 12 months, they will pay back. So actually, from a net perspective, you're no worse off, although you've got that little bit more upfront cost. A lot of consumers out there think that LED bulbs are not as bright as your regular ordinary bulbs. Now that, that is not entirely true and it depends on a number of variables. One of the factors to look into is the watts per lumen. The higher the watts per lumen, the brighter the light's going to be. And secondly, you've got to choose the type of light that you want. Now the cooler colours are going to be a lot more intense and brighter, so say for your bathroom or your kitchen environments. Whereas the warmer colours are not, not going to be as intense and they're going to be for more of your gentle ambient atmospheres like your bedrooms or your living rooms. The good thing about LED bulbs, they're not just available for spotlights. You can also have your favorite lamp or your favorite ceiling light, candle bulbs or bayonets in LED. Technology is improving all the time and you can get various shapes and sizes out there. You just have to find the right retailer and the, and the right requirements for you. Now, even if you're not a fan of LED bulbs, what you'll find is when you eventually use them, you'll get used to them. And actually, you'll find that they're a perfect substitute for the bulbs that you used to have. Because of regulation changes, what the retailers have done, they have gradually phased out the old types of bulbs. You can still get the chlorofluorescent bulbs, so that's the ones that glow in a tube. Those are readily available. But you'll see, actually, you know, a lot of the retailers are moving towards the LED market anyway. So over the long run, you know, everyone will probably actually adopt those as, as the standard and the way to go forward. Now I'm hoping that you found this video informative and if you've got any other questions please send us your comments below and we'll have a look and we'll hopefully get back to you. Also there's lots of information on LED bulbs on the website so go to www.thegreenage.co.uk also uh, go on to our social media pages to look out for the latest videos and latest blogs on this technology and until next time Bye for now.